This is probably one of the most important skills you'll have to learn under IFR. I'm Jason Miller, a full-time professional flight instructor. On the Finer Points channel, you can join me as I bring you tips and tricks that I've learned from 20 years on the flight line. Hello aviators, welcome back to the Finer Points. When we learn to descend when we're practicing VFR flying, we don't often learn how to descend at a constant airspeed and a constant rate, like 90 knots and 500 feet per minute. And yet, in instrument flying, this is such an important skill to have because every glide slope and glide path is built on approximately a 90 knot ground speed and approximately 500 foot per minute descent. So you have to have that trick up your sleeve, and how do we do it? Uh, let's go back to the old 1970s FAA Instrument Flying Handbook where they had lessons in the back and just take what they say, right? First, we slow the airplane down to the target airspeed. Once we get there, we allow the pitch to fall such that the VSI now hits 500 feet per minute down, and then it's convenient to think of your pitch as controlling your VSI and your power as controlling your speed. Here's how it works. All right, let's clear the area a little bit. We're going to do one more thing. This is called a constant rate slash airspeed descent. So if you want to descend at a specific speed, airspeed, and a specific rate, how do you do that? And this is really important. This is probably one of the most important skills you'll have to learn under IFR because all ILS glide slopes and LPV glide paths are based on about a 500 foot per minute descent at 90 knots. It's, it's slightly different than that, but if you think about it that way, 500 feet per minute at 90 knots, it'll get you really darn close every time, and from there you just make small modifications. So let's start here. Let's imagine we were flying along faster than we are now. We're cruising along with the power set at 2,500. That's given us um, you know, about 105 knots, sometimes 110. There we are, 105 knots or so. Now... We want to descend at 90 knots and 500 feet per minute at the same time. So how do we accomplish that? All right, here's how it works. Let's roll out on 330. Okay, the first thing you're gonna do is just like a constant airspeed descent, you are going to power back and hold your altitude to slow down. Okay, we're gonna capture that airspeed first. That's the first thing we're gonna do is make sure we're flying at the correct airspeed. 90 knots. And you can see as I power back and as I hold altitude, the airspeed is decreasing. We're 100 now. Okay, decreasing to 95. All right, now once we get to the target airspeed of 90 knots, we are going to transition. We are going to let the pitch fall or push it down, whatever we have to do. And at this point, our this VSI right here, this vertical speed indicator, becomes our primary indicator for pitch. So I'm going to pitch to 500, I'm going to pitch down if I'm at 400, and I'm going to pitch up if I'm at 600, I'm going to pitch to 500 and power to 90. Alright, so I'm trying to hold 90 knots and 500 feet per minute. If I'm fast, I will power back. If I'm coming down too fast, I will pitch up. And there we go, and it looks to me like about 1800 RPM is holding this. That's an important number to, to memorize. This is going to be one of our six configurations. Okay, 90 knots, I'm still fighting for it, but I'm 92 now, 500 feet per minute. Okay, just remember the first thing we did was slow down to 90 knots. The second thing we did was pitch down to 500 feet per minute, at which point the VSI is primary for pitch, the airspeed is primary for power. Uh, and that's just a convenient way of thinking about it. Uh, it's convenient in this plane because pitch will cause this VSI to react immediately. If I pitch up, I get an immediate reduction. If I pitch down, I get an immediate reduction. In this type of airplane, uh, power is a little bit slower to be felt. So for that reason, in this configuration, it's convenient to think about pitching to VSI, powering to airspeed. Um, and this would hold, assuming no wind, this would hold your ILS glide slope. This would also hold your LPV glide path. And it's nice to know where you're starting before we start working with those needles. All right, so be proficient at constant rate slash airspeed descents. All right, aviators, that's all for this episode of The Finer Points. I hope you can practice that when you go out flying this weekend or next time you go out. Please leave a comment if there's a video you'd like to see. 
Uh, huge thanks to the sponsors. Remember that ForeFlight is the essential app for aviation, and when you renew your AOPA membership, you should select Pilot Protection Services. Also, a huge thanks to the patrons. Remember, there's tons of bonus content on Patreon, and that's a great way to support the channel. Uh, hit the like button, subscribe, hit that little alert bell, but most importantly, until next time, be safe and fly your best. Thank you.